Hey guys, we want to say thank you for watching. What we got going on is today it's going to be how to clean the smell of puke out of a van. Really gross, really disgusting, but the van really smells. So we've tried a few different techniques, uh, but we're going to head to a place, get some enzyme cleaner, see if that really helps. I think I'm going to really drench it. Uh, give it some time to sit. It's a nice hot day, 90 degrees out today. So it's going to take, it's going to dry pretty quickly in the van. Right now we're going to go ahead and head to the post office, a place to get the dog stuff. And yesterday we bought an oven. So I got coffee, got keys. Let's go and go. Which car to take? You can take minivan. Nah. Uh, Mazda Miata. Not this time. Yellow! We found a winner. you been doing down there? Go. So we got something that has an orange letter for it. Probably from the government. Let's see. So, uh, with that we just got a letter from the Department of Taxation. It's common for businesses to get those. They just let you know, hey, you paid, good job. So that's what we got going on. Um, right now, let's go ahead and get some dog scent. Here we are uh, in the area. We got Nature's Miracle as an option. We have Out Advantage. And then we have Out Odor Eliminator. Something that I seem to find out with these is that they don't actually have to declare what's in them. But Nature's Miracle does tell you what's actually in it. Um, it gives a good description. It says water, oxygen booster, aspiral alcohol, Nature's bioenzymatic blend, and then surface scent and citrus scent. This reminds me of a story um, for Breeze, made out of DHT, um, a scientist. He wasn't really trying to come up with a product like that, but he was working with DHT and um, he came home. He's a smoker. His wife's like, did you stop smoking? He thought it was some practical joke that his wife was doing to him. And he was like, no. She's like, dude, you don't smell like smoke. He's like, really? And so, uh, this was just in Cincinnati, Ohio, which is about 70 miles away from here is where it happened. And what happened is uh, he went to Procter & Gamble and the product actually worked. It pulled out the scent. And originally they tried to market the Febreze to people with pets because one lady who, had, who worked for the Parks Department who smelled like a skunk a lot because she dealt with skunks. Well, she was able now to get a date because not everything in her house smelled like a skunk. So, got a problem with skunks? Febreze can be the answer. But anyways, um, I thought that was interesting how that's how DHT came up. It was just a scientist experimenting in a factory, um, in a laboratory, and boom, that's actually what removes a lot of the odors and a lot of things in our houses. So. The one I'm going to go for is this Out Advanced. I want to be advanced, not simple. So, um, it says what you do is you put it, uh, you get the carpet wet twice the area that the dog puked on, and you go ahead, put it down for five minutes, then after five minutes, you blot it up with the damp, with the dry towel to remove the excess, then you let it dry, see if it smells again. If it does smell, repeat process. So, um, yeah. We'll see how this works. Hopefully it works out good because I really don't want to have to use a power washer in the van. But knowing me, I've used a power washer in a house twice before. So yeah, 
power washers, I'm, I use them everywhere. I don't know if you guys are like me, but sometimes after you do something, you realize what you did. So I brought this car today, picking up an oven from Lowe's. No, not gonna work. Definitely not gonna work picking up an oven in that car. Can't believe I did that to myself. So now we get to go back to the other side of town and get the van. So here we're back at the lovely van, which smells slightly like puke. Uh, with the seats, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and position them all the way back. Oh. The instructions on this say to go ahead, put it on the spot twice the area that the vomit was on and leave it there for five minutes. So I'm gonna go and open it up and just I don't think I put that lid on too good. So the technique I'm doing right now, we're just gonna call the drench technique. It smells much prettier. With my research, something I did here is that, just like with the dog vomit, when they puke on it, it goes down into the padding and into the carpet. So um, with this, that's part of the purpose of having it sit for a while is that it went down into it, so you want this to go down into it and to be able to eliminate the odors that way. You know what, who cares? We're just gonna dump the whole thing. Now the van seat, these van seats move forward rather easily. So we're gonna go ahead and slide them forward. Sorry guys, I got you stuck in there for a moment. Back here we can see the wet that I've got it before. Just a few minutes, you know, a minute ago. Let's see how this works, or smell how it works. We're gonna blot it up in a little bit. I do have some towels out here. It says to let it sit for five minutes. Here we are about five minutes later. So we're gonna wipe it up. Uh, the excess, it says. It's just if you can get it on a towel. That's considered excess, maybe. So that concludes the video of how to go ahead and get the puke out of the van, hopefully. And if it doesn't work, I'm gonna show you guys more uh, today. Hey guys, so it's been just about an hour since I put the stuff on the van. I think I might be smelling the odor coming back. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's one of those things that I should repeat and do that again. Um, yeah, I'll think about it throughout the day, but um, I'll also go to the van later on and smell it again. Maybe it, the odor's going away, maybe it's not. We'll find out. Hey okay, guys, so it's starting to be the end of the night and the van, uh, it did drop the smell level, did not totally eradicate it. I think we're gonna have to repeat, just throw another bottle on, try the same process again. I believe we'll get a lot better. So I want to say thank you guys for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment below, and we will see you.